Surgeons with Texas Children's Fetal Center recently hit a significant milestone when they completed their 100th neural tube defect repair. More than half of these repairs were performed fetoscopically. This experimental, minimally invasive surgical approach was pioneered at Texas Children's in 2014. I think in our case, it, uh, it shows that we're a mature program, that we uh, have done a lot of these cases, that our results are equivalent, uh, if not better, than anybody else out there doing this that we have a level of experience now uh, whereby we can uh, assure patients and families that the, the product, if you will, that we offer is one that has a quality and safety about it. Neural tube defect repair surgeries are performed on babies with spina bifida, the most common permanently disabling birth defect for which there is no known cure. The standard of care for spina bifida is neurosurgical closure of the defect in the first days of life. Advances in fetal surgery, however, have proven that a fetal surgical repair leads to better outcomes. Belfort and his team have shown that performing the surgery fetoscopically yields the same outcome for the baby as the open repair, while being significantly less invasive for the mother. Uh, we did our first one in 2014. Um, Grayson, he's a lovely little boy, a uh, very brave mother. I will never forget when I counseled her and I said, you know you're the first person in the world to get this surgery done this way. And she said, somebody has to be first. And I thought that was quite a remarkably brave, uh, courageous thing for her to have said and to have believed and to have put her trust in us. So I'll forever be grateful to, uh, to Althea for that. At 23 weeks pregnant, Althea Canazero learned during a routine ultrasound that her son Grayson had spina bifida. The Louisiana resident came to Texas Children's shortly thereafter and met with Belford and his team. After talking with him, it was like, okay, there's something they can do for us. And if it didn't work out, everybody would be safe. We knew that this was an opportunity to give him the best life that he could have. A little more than four years later, Althea and Grayson are thriving. When we first found out about spina bifida, I asked my husband, I said, why us, you know? And he said, because God knows that he, we're gonna take care of this child. And after having Grayson, Grayson showed us what life is truly about. It's not about the material things. It's about the will and the want, and he has it all. Belford and his team performed the 100th neural tube defect repair late last year and delivered the healthy little girl this year. The care here has been absolutely great. Um, I wouldn't have chosen another hospital if I had to do it over again. I would be right back here.